Okay, this is a battery tester I use. It's a 612 Intelligent Battery Tester by ACT. Sorry, I'm in an air conditioned room, so it's a little loud. So, part of the test of the fire alarm system is we test the battery. So, I'm going to show you real quick how we do that. Uh, so, I have one lead connected to make sure it's the proper polarity. Uh, you put these leads in. Put it on with alligator clips. It says powering up. You can see this chart while I'm waiting on it to power up. This is seven amp hour battery, the minimum. Uh, before I had to replace this 4.55. Okay? So I'll put that in my software here. Minimum 4.55. So I'm looking at the voltage, it's 12.84. I come over there to pre-test, pre-test, I put in 12.84, okay, then as you can see it says press the test, I press and hold the test button, it says testing, I let go, it says 7.6 amp hour, so I come over here and put in there, uh, Tested AH for amp hours is 7.6, so there 7.6. And my post test, where I find my post test, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect one lead of this. I'm going to let you watch what it does on the screen. So it kills power, reconnect the back up to power and up. You can do this with your voltmeter too, but I do it all with this. 12.62. So I come over here to my post test. Ooh, can't do that while I'm looking through the screen there. Okay, so this battery passed. Now, I've seen a couple times where people uh, hook these things up backwards and burn up panels, burn up the charging circuit. So be cautious whenever you put that in there. If there's two batteries, if you got to take a picture of it or, you know, because sometimes they'll have a black leaf or a jumper and it's a black to black, you have black to red, you know, so. Uh, these batteries are, in my opinion, are the best of you wasps. Anyway, uh, please like and subscribe.